is Adora Kioli. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Oh God, bless us this day. Bless the, the children watching and help them to understand their teachers. And bless those who are poor, the sick. And bless this service as we continue dancing and praising you, Lord. As bless all the other churches and those loved ones who have passed, all of our loved ones. Take care of them as, as we are on earth, and please bless us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's welcome the service team. If we could, we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. like how those kids treat me. What do they do? They, they never allow me to play when it's my time to play. They, they are so mean. Sorry, Tommy Tom. Mm -hmm. That's not, that was not fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, that will really hurt my feelings. We need to go and show them what we are made yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and punch them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, guys, uh, you need to forgive them. What? No, nope, no, nope. they should learn their lesson. They should not be mean to Tommy. Guys, mm -hmm. remember what we learned and we've been learning about the Beatitudes? Shelly, mm -hmm. not now. And from Matthew 5, mm -hmm. Jesus said that blessed are those who are merciful, mm -hmm. for they will be shown mercy. Are you serious? Yep. Show them mercy? Yeah. As in, forgive them? Mm -hmm. but, but they really hurt me. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. we learned that we should always show mercy even when we are hurt and feel like revenging okay when 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 it's my turn mm -hmm. i'll play when, when, when it's uh, it's, our, it's our turn to play mm -hmm. i'll be fair with them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i agree we need to be merciful with each other that's right mm -hmm. i love that let mm -hmm. us dash to Sunday school mm -hmm. and hear what teacher will tell us more about this lesson. Mm -hmm. Ah, thanks, Shelley, mm -hmm. for reminding me about the beatitudes mm -hmm. of, 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 of being merciful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always be merciful. Mm -hmm. 
merciful because mm. we shall be shown mercy. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Let's go. <laughs> good morning, children. How are you today? It's very good to see you. We want to thank Shirley and friends for their presentation. And we want to get right into today's lesson. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for today. We want to thank you for waking us up early to watch the program. Lord Jesus, help us to understand the lesson. Let us learn from what we hear today and grow in the knowledge of you. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is teacher Carol Kwasa. And I wonder, do you remember last week's lesson? The lesson that teacher Pauline taught you. It was blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. It was one of the Beatitudes. Do you remember the memory verse? Very good. Now for the lesson. Look at these two pictures. What do you do when you're hungry? You eat something. What do you do when you're thirsty? You drink something. When we are hungry and when we are thirsty, we eat and drink food. But today we want to talk about another type of hunger and thirst. One day, Jesus was talking to many, many people on a mountain. He said, blessed were many things. He said, many things are blessed. These are the Beatitudes. Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. But what did he mean? Well, there is a different type of hunger and thirst. Jesus did not mean hunger and thirst for food, but he meant when you want something very, very, very much, you hunger and thirst for it. We say, Jesus said, you hunger and thirst for righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is doing the right thing. Righteousness is doing the good thing. Righteousness is being fair, being just, and being right. And Jesus said we must always want to do things in God's way. When we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we hunger and thirst for God's ways, God's laws, and God's methods. We hunger and thirst to do the things the way God likes. Now, how do you feel when someone lies? How do you feel when someone cheats? How do you feel when someone steals? We don't feel happy. We feel these actions are unfair because we know in our heart that these actions are wrong. They are not doing the right thing. They are doing the wrong thing. They are not righteous. They are not God's way. They are not God's law. But when we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we always want in our hearts to do things the way God likes it. 
because God is a God of righteousness. God does right. God is right. God makes right. God is happy when we are righteous. God is happy when we tell the truth. God is happy when we don't cheat in our games. God is happy when we share our food. God is happy when we pray to him. God is happy when we worship him. God is a God of righteousness and he wants us to always do things in a righteous way. There are some people who suffer. They do not get righteousness in their lives. Some people are imprisoned unfairly. They are sent to jail unfairly. Some people have lies told about them unfairly. Some people are beaten unfairly. These people do not have righteousness. They do not receive righteousness from the world because the people are not treating them well. We say they hunger and thirst for righteousness. They long in their heart for God's ways, for God's laws, for God's system. They hunger and thirst for righteousness. Today I want to tell you a Bible story about a man who hungered and thirsted for righteousness. This story is taken from the Bible, from the book of Job. It's a long story, but I will make it short for you. Long, long, long ago, before Jesus was born, there was a man called Job. Job was a righteous man. He prayed to God. He worshipped God. He did the right things. He treated people well. He was honest. He was good. He was upright. And God gave him all good things because God was happy with Job. Then, one day, some bad things happened to Job. In one day, he lost all of his animals, all of his children died. All of his servants died. A fire came from heaven and burnt up all his property. And to make it worse, Job got a very bad skin disease. Job was not happy. Because Job always wanted to do the right thing. So why were so many bad things happening to him? Ho, ho, ho. Job's wife. Look at him in this picture with his boils on his body. Job's wife got tired of his illness. And she said to him, curse God and die. But Job was a righteous man. He hungered and thirsted for righteousness. He wanted to please God all the time and every time. And he refused to curse God. Job wanted to do the right thing, even though he had a lot of trouble. He wanted to be upright and honest and truthful and prayerful 
because he wanted to please God. Job's friends came to see him. And they said to him, Job, you must have done something very bad for God to allow so many bad things to happen to you. But Job said, I did not sin. I am a righteous man. I have only done good things. I don't understand why bad things are happening to me. Job, in spite of all his problems, he wanted to please God. He wanted to do the right thing. He hungered and thirsted for righteousness. He hungered to do God's way. So in the end, God was happy with Job because Job did not do anything bad even though he had a lot of problems. So God showed Job righteousness. God filled Job with good things. God brought back his land. God brought back his animals. God brought back more children. God gave back his houses. God gave back his health. God healed Job from his sickness. And Job was very glad. So what is the lesson from our story? Can you see the picture of Job and his children reading the Bible? Job is happy because he has new children. He has fresh children. God gave him a second chance. The lesson from the story is this. When we want very much to please God, when we want very much to live in God's ways, when we hunger and thirst for righteousness, God will fill us up. When we want very much to see something fair, when we want very much to see something right, God will fill us up. When we have a complaint against someone who is treating us badly, we can say, God, give us your righteousness, and he will fill us up. God is a God of the righteous. God gives righteousness. God is righteousness. God is right. So, with that story, let us look at our memory verse for today. Our memory verse for today is taken from Matthew 5 verse 6. It says, Blessed or happy are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be Filled. Jesus said this on the side of the mountain. We call it a beatitude. We call it the Sermon on the Mount. So how do we live in righteousness? How do we do things in God's way? Let us tell the truth. Let us share our toys. Let us not cheat in our games. Let us obey mommy and daddy. Let us pray to God all the time. 
Let us worship God all the time. Let us be kind and treat people fairly. Don't cheat when you play games. Don't take people's pencils in school. Be a one who shares their snacks and help in the home. Help mommy and daddy with the housework. Help to clear the table. Give mommy and daddy water when they ask and obey. This is how we can be righteous. And if we always try to do things in God's way, then we hunger and thirst for righteousness and God will fill us up. Just like Job didn't do anything bad, even though he had a lot of trouble, he hungered and thirsted for righteousness and God filled him up. So the memory verse, remember, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And now, children, it's hard to be filled by God if you don't even know God. Have you asked God into your life as your savior? Are you a friend of Jesus? Let us pray if you don't know God and ask him into our lives. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for the lesson on righteousness. We hunger and thirst for righteousness. We want to do things according to your ways so that you fill us up. Lord, come into our lives, forgive us our sins, and be our personal savior. We want to be a friend of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And now, children, let's look at the craft exercise. The craft exercise for this week is coloring. Here is a picture of Job when God returned his children, God returned his houses, God returned his land, and God returned his animals. God gave him back all his good things because he hungered and thirsted for righteousness. He hungered and thirsted for God's ways, for God's laws, for God's rule. When you get this picture, color it, download it from the website and color it and then show us how you have made it beautiful and you are able to see Job as a happy person when God gave him back all his things. And then send us your craft exercises online so that we can display them, we can show them to the other children next week. And now, children, let us close with a word of prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for today's lesson. We hunger and thirst for righteousness. We want your ways in the world. We hunger and thirst for your ways. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up. We pray all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, children, I hope you will try to do things in God's way. I hope 
you will hunger and thirst for righteousness. Until next week, bye-bye. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they'll inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. The Beatitudes are blessings from above. They fill our lives with gratitude and love. So rejoice, be glad, and learn each one these blessings from above. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they'll be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the King.